so let's continue now with the basic elements of probability so there are basic terms that we'll go first and then we'll go deeper into the probability axioms right and then we will also go to random variables and further advanced topics in probability so all these things as i already said in the very first lecture that we are discussing with respect to machine learning and data science right so i'll touch the topics that are related to machine learning and data science rather than covering the entire theory of probability because entire theory is really vast and it's a course in itself right so let's continue so first is what is an experiment so as we all know from the super school days like there is one experiment like uh, tossing a coin right it is also called one experiment so if we toss a coin for let's say two times then what we have we have four outcomes that we already know head head tail tail then tail head and tail tail right this is these are the possible all possible outcomes right so in probability terms this all possible outcomes is called sample space and just a tossing a coin is called experiment right so what is experiment experiment is just a tossing a coin twice or thrice or whatever but it's an experiment but all the possible outcomes like it's not like i'm just saying particular outcome like head head it's like all possible outcomes is called sample space so what's the definition of sample space that set of all possible outcomes of an experiment is known as sample space now here we are seeing other examples of an experiment as well like let's say we have uh, an experiment to determine the gender so what can be the sample space now the sample space can be whether it's a girl or boy right only just this can because these are all possible outcomes then uh, other is like uh, let's say we are having a race of horse horse race and so in racing let's say we have numbered our horses till 1 to 7 and we have seven horses so any orderings of this combination like which one will come first according to the race that can also be an experiment right so all possible combinations so that's why i wrote all possible orderings or the all possible permutations that we have of 1 to 7 numbers that can be considered as an entire sample space similarly let's say we have an experiment of knowing we have to know that whether the amount of dosage of any particular vaccine or any medicine so how much amount of uh, dosage should be given for a patient or should be suitable for a patient so in that case what can be the sample space sample space can be let's say i am just as defining it it's it can be from 0 to infinity right so the, for example it can be like also 0 to 5 let's say there is some unit 5 just let's consider there is some unit we don't know about the dosage unit so let's say there is some unit so there can be 0 to 5 right so these are other different experiment examples of an experiment as well as a sample space so the same thing i wrote here that this can be the example like determining the gender whether it's a girl or boy or you can also consider other genders based on if you are considering lgbtq that can also be considered nowadays now so like uh, what is an event now so we we saw first what is experiment then we saw what is sample space now we what is event so event can be any subset of the sample space so for example if i'll say like the s is the girl that the experiment resulted into just this outcome that it is girl then this is one of the event right so same thing i'll write again here example is like getting just girl is in one of one event or let's say i'm getting just boy let's name it s dash right this can be another event so this is these are just basic terminologies now we will see some union that that we have also seen in our high school days so some operations on set that we do like union and intersection and so on so we'll see that what all this means just to brush up quickly so as we all know union consists of all the elements that are either in one event so let's let me just consider two events right now that let's say we have two events e and f so all the events uh, all the outcomes sorry in either e or f event e or event f or in both for example for example let's say again take this girl and boy example let's say we have an event e sorry this is e let me just rub this 
and write again that let's say we have an event E and let's say we have an event F where we have girl as an outcome. So what can be the union of this? So it will be both together, bo boy and girl. So it will constitute sample space here, right? Because a sample space is nothing but both together. So it's that as the definition says, outcomes that are either in E or in F or in both. So we have to take all, all of the elements from both the sets or from both the events and then put it together. This is called union. We will see diagrammatically in next lecture or in Venn diagram that how it's, it's diagrammatically represented just for visualization. Now the same thing we can write for intersection. So for intersection, it should be like that we should have one element in common. In union, it was like you take either from E or F or from both. But in intersection, it should be, let me just take an example. This you already know, but I'm just brushing up and covering the topic for all the audience, which like, because some of you might not know. So let's say we are taking the dosage now. So let's say one of the dosage is from zero to 10. Our experiment number three that I told here that we have to check the amount of dosage of the patient. So in that case, let's say there is one event. Okay, I'm writing S continuously. Let me write E now. Let's say there is one event which is having zero to 10 and there is event F which is having two to five. Now what can be the intersection of this too. So we, so we are saying that this can be the maximum dosage of for the patient or two, from 2 to 5 should be the maximum dosage for the patient. So what can be the intersection of both these events? So it can be just you can use simple number line 0, 10. So this area is covered and from 2 to 5 which area is covered? 2 to 5 this area is covered right? So what is common in between them this area? Right? So we can write that the intersection will be just 2 to 5. So this is what the definition of intersection is. Now sometimes it might happen that you don't have anything in common. Then what will result? Null set, a null event and those events are called mutually exclusive event. Right. So for example if you want to take example of mutually exclusive event so again I will take an event from our second example of horse race, so let's say we say that race uh, horse number five won the race and we don't know what are the positions of other, we don't care. And let's say F says that six won the race. So what can be common in there? Like, because since this won the race, five won, won the race and here six is there. So we can say that the intersection between these two is null set, right? Or it might be possible that there are some elements common in here, right? So let me write like phi is here in this event. Six is here and phi is here. Then there is no intersection, right? So this is the null set because we don't know who won. Right? So, so this simply implies that E and F both cannot uh, occur together. So let me write this, that this two events cannot occur together. Then that then then only then we can say this is a null set. Correct. Now there is also something called complement of a set. So complement is nothing but let's say there is one event where we are getting girl as an outcome. So what can be the e complement? E complement will be boy because what we have to do we have to just subtract from our sample space. So we have to subtract. What is from uh, what is there from in the event? So in event it is girl. So we will subtract from the sample space which is both girl and boy because sample space is all possible outcomes. So we'll just subtract girl because it's a complement. So what we'll left with boy. So that's why it's boy. So these are the simple things from next lecture onwards. We will continue with different axioms of probabilities and then we'll move forward into random variable and CDF and PDF. That is the distributions cumulative as well as the probability distributions of various random variables. So stay tuned and thank you so much.